stillness. You would think that might be the case. But if it's, you know any woke people, we're talking about what it means to Headache since August 17, 2003, and very seldom do I use to heal my body, heal myself. After these hard workouts or these long. Well, hey everybody, today is Tuesday, the 11th of June, the year 2024, and I made it to Rogersville in fairly fast time. I had a slight wind out of the south, but behind me there was a flag, now they took it down, I can't see it. And they did have a flag here at the come and go. You can see the flag pole, but you can't see the flag because they took it down. Looks like they're building something back over there. You see that tall crane? Maybe, maybe you can see it in the video. You know what they're building over there with that tall crane? I don't know what he does, but he, I think he does some kind of stainless steel type too. I might have to ride over there and just look. Yeah, that's what they're... That's a fairly big crane. Yeah, they're going to put up. It's going to be some kind of a factory. You with you were at the electric company? Yeah. He, he actually, the guy that's building that, sits on the board at the electric company. Okay. Is His it... name's B.J. Johnston. So that structure will still be in set. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, man. I'll ride over there and look at it. Well, he gave me some information. But I know more about it. So the man this building it sits on the board of the electric company. But he gets a good break on his electric bill, which I'll find. <laughs> you would think that might be the case. But if he's he a straight up business, honest person, he wouldn't take a shortcut like that. And these days and times, only idiots take shortcuts. It's like taking a ball and throwing it up against the wall. It'll come back really fast. And the faster it comes back, that's the more karma you get. So the last thing you would want to do <clears throat> in this day, this time, this moment of now and continuing of this reality is speeding up to the point that you wouldn't want to sh shortchange anything or anyone. You wouldn't want to steal, cheat, lie, none of that. The, the time is condensing on itself. It's getting a little easier for the people that are awakened and it's getting a little harder for the people that are woke. You see, they took that word, the great awakening, that we were using as hashtags all the way back to eight, so what, 1800, no, 2007, 2008, 2009. And uh, I don't know what year it was, but they just literally shadow banned that hashtag, the Great Awakening. They wanted to dominate that, that word, the awakening to the woke and if you know any woke people <laughs> you're looking at the poor pitiful souls that believe the reality that they're in is the only reality that there is now can you imagine because I'm speaking to the awakened I'm speaking to the consciously presence of the I am that is a resonating 
vibratory field of love and a true identity based in Christ, not a physical body with a physical name. Hell no. We're talking about what it means to fall in love with the creator of all things, especially the creator of source. And that, that I am and you are, if you can hear it, you're a light body being inhabiting a physical form and you're an eternal being. You've always been and you always will be. I thought that was the way you're supposed to introduce yourself in church and then found out you can't do that. <laughs> They'll throw you out. <laughs> if you go telling them that you're an eternal light body being, the same as Yahshua ben Joseph, and your father is the creator of the universe, that is not this one, because <laughs> this is a fallen matrix, they'll look at you like you're crazy and throw you out of church. When the truth is, we all are one. That oneness is what Yahshua ben Joseph talked about. It's a love that passes out under all understanding. It's incomprehensible to the egoic mind that when you see someone, you only see in Christ. But I just thought I'd say that. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to make it to the church sign and see if they changed it over the day. <laughs> Don't look like they're going to change it. But. Y'all have a good one. Well, I made it to the sign. Today's the same day, Tuesday, the 11th of June, the year is 2024. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at the clouds behind me. Ain't they pretty? I can show them to you like that maybe better. All right. Oh, it's supposed to be sunny all week. I see how much riding I can get done after doing these and by the time I get back, it'll be 30 miles, and yesterday was 30 miles, and that's back-to-back. -back. So this is my first back-to-back -back 30. I'll wake up and see how I feel tomorrow, but I may have to rest. And then hit it again Thursday. Might do an active recovery ride tomorrow, and then hit it again the next day. Because tomorrow's Wednesday. Today is Tuesday. All right. <laughs> no changing of the sign. It's still the same thing. Yep. Double check the same thing. All right. All I can tell you is this. Things are fixing to change. And the whole world changes when you change. If you really want to change, the way you are and the way you think about things. You can't do it of your own carnal thinking. You've got to crawl, you've got to crawl before you can walk. You've got to want to really see the world for what it is, to know that is not what we've been told. Something is happening in the collective mind of people, they're starting to want truth. Not the television version of truth, but the real truth. So they're starting to look it up, and the internet hasn't been totally scrubbed, but it has been heavily monitored for people looking for that kind of information. And you'll, you'll see one day you'll get it, and then the next day you'll get stupid stuff. They trying to steer you away from it, like a snake they are. 
because when you grasp into this truth of who you really are and you love yourself and if you never loved yourself deeply press that button and love yourself deeply because the very essence of your breath is the truth of who we are and what we are. Meditating did a world of good for me and I didn't even know I was going to be shown how to meditate but the spirit of what God is day two of my awakening showed me a beautiful woman named Emily Limley. She didn't know anything about meditating but she knew about how to still her mind and be calm and she taught me that I haven't even had a headache since August 17, 2003. And very seldom do I even get sick. And I can cast that off in 12 to 14 to 20 hours at the most. My body is running and working at a high level of physical endurance and abilities to heal my body, heal myself after these hard workouts or these long swims. We all are supposed to be healthy. We all are supposed to have a still mind and our minds are supposed to be able to be controlled with our thinking, not somebody else's thoughts. These idiots have a way to implant thinking thoughts into people. And that's what they've been doing to keep up this madness in this world that there's something we got to do to change the world. No, you got to change you first down into here, your heart. You got to stop seeing with your eyes and start seeing with the eyes of your heart. And when you change, the world will change. Enough said. <laughs> I love all of y'all each and every one of you leave a comment tell me what you want me to make a video about let's do that and see if i see if i get any commenters that want me to make videos about certain things subjects of awakening and how i live my life in peace and love talk to you later you got it looking good Look at that. Well, the flood doors are open, people. I don't see anybody down there, but that's a good sign. They're open. The flood doors are. I don't know if the restaurant's open or not. We're gonna need some physical evidence of that before I say anything about that. I think they got the furniture back on the deck, yeah. I see it, so that's a good sign. Because if they was working on it, they wouldn't put that back. All right, maybe it didn't flood. I'll find out. Got people in the water. I gotta get that, see that big log? That's pretty big size. That, that's huge. I gotta get that huge log off of there. Or they might just leave it up there as a high water mark. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? And there's our new snag. Vertical up and down. Look at that whole tree. As the water clears it, we'll be able to see it better. There's the church. Look over there. All right. That's all I care to show you right now.
Yeah, shake it. Drink. Did anyone hit the shot? So make sure. On the left hand? Make yes. sure when you. No. No.